Hey everyone, here is my first video about my other hobby, model building. So I mainly build 135 scale model kits like this one and the first video I'm going to show you is the one I'm currently working on, this uh, M18 Hellcat. I'm just going to show some details of it. Here we have the tracks, ammo crates, ammo boxes, ammo tubes, a, a tent, a machine gun, some jerry cans, and then here's the back side. No, some uh, sacks and some bags and tents. The tracks I did met them already so it looks realistic uh, more ammo tubes and then the front and of course it's, it's an open top vehicle, vehicle so you also can also see the inside of it you see the floor the gunner seat commander seat and the loader seat And then here is the place where the radio operator sits, and here is a driver's position. So I already have made made this made this, but it isn't finished. I still need to make some figures for it, because it doesn't come with figures, and tank without figures is a uh, it's not not very nice looking. So, I bought this here, US tank crew from Mini Art. It, it includes five figures. Um, yeah, that that's mainly it. And uh, I will also show you the box from the M18 Hellcat. Here it is, M18 Hellcat, US Army gun motor carriage, which means an, uh, a tank destroyer. And and it's from the academy of course it's a uh, 135 35th scale so I already made the figures I painted them mount, mounted uh, and painted them put them together so here you can see I think which should be the driver the commander uh, radio operator, a loader, and this the second in charge, the officer of some kind. Uh, so I already painted them, and I also painted some nice details. Here you can see some insignia, and a microphone, the nice looking helmet. Oh. And of course the other side. So also with this one. So of course you see they don't look appear very realistic. So I need to make them realistic. So and I'm going to do that right now. So what I'm going to do to make these figures more realistic is what I like to call the backwater technique. You're going to need some black paint, water and a big brush. So you need a lot of water and you just put one drip of paint in it there. That's more than enough maybe even too much hmm. um, maybe we need to add some more water it's not watery enough so I'm going to do that So 
so this should be good and um, now steward very good and this is exactly right so you just take a figure and just paint it all over just paint it everywhere you want and it's done so now you need to do that with all the figures So now that has been done, the black water technique has been applied. You can see it here. It doesn't have a lot, a lot of effect, but it will help with the lock at, at the end. So what I'm going to do right now is use the highlighting technique. Uh, what you need for that is a brush. I'm going to use some grey paint mixed with white paint for to highlight these the grey suits and khaki paint to highlight the olive drab jack jackets. So what you want what you want to do is just take a drop of paint take some paint not too much then you want to have as little as possible paint on your brush and then you go over it not, do not push too hard just go softly over it just like that what this will do is it will highlight uh, the places that are higher so it will look more 3D, more realistic so now I'm going to do the R vest of the R figure <coughs> so that has been done here's the result now I need to highlight the grey color, the work suits. So for that I'm going to mix some grey paint with white paint. I'm going to start with some white paint. Not too much. Then add some grey. It's neutral grey. to shake the bowl so, a little bit don't want it to be too dark no oh, that's more than enough mm, too dark need to add some white So just continue until you get a very light shade of grey. So this was the color I was looking for, very light grey, so now just do the same to the grey zones on these figures. So here is this figure after everything is finished, as you can see. It looks much more realistic. I'm gonna show them all. This is uh, the commander. Here is another, which is an overall. the law 
lost one. So that's done. Now, of course, they need to be dirty because they work in a tank, they get dirty, um, and also they step in the mud. So I'm gonna put some mud on their boots and all over their clothes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use some uh, beige brown and then with a paper towel I'm just gonna dip some uh, dirt on their, on their uh, shoes. So here it is done, some dirt on its pants, its uh, his shoes, on his arms, so uh, on his bed also, so that's done. But now I need to glue these glasses to the helmet right there. So I'm going to do that with um, this glue. I use um, Revel special plastic uh, glue from Revel. That's what you want to use. Some uh, special plastic glue suitable for model building. So has to be there. Has to be suitable for model building. So I'm just gonna glue the glasses under the helmets, and uh, I'll be back. So. Now this the glosser, glasses are on. Here you can see them. Finished. So now these guys are finished. Now I'm just just going to fixate the paint with this uh, stop coat, flat stop coat from Mr. Hobby. So I'm just going to do that, and I'll be right back. So. These guys are done. They are both perfect. So now I'm going to put them on the M18 Hellcat to show you what they look like on there. So here they all are. Here's the first guy sitting, sitting on the back of a tank. Then the second guy sitting in a in the in a hatch. This guy is also sitting in a hatch. This is the driver's position. I think this is a radio man. No, something else. Um, then here we have the commander and the thing loader or the gunner who are sitting in a turret. So yes, these guys are finished. Now next episode I will finish this tank, just adding some details. See you then.